So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe and also enjoying this particular weekend. What we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about NIT's overview for NRI's admission. A complete overview about the admission process under DESA and CIWG will be captured in this video. Just a small request folks, please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because this video is going to be very informative. You will have a complete overview about the admission process. Let's start. Now briefing you about the topics that we are going to cover in the next 10 minutes, we'll start with discussing about DESA. A brief discussion about DESA, that what are the changes that has been made in DESA from this year fall. Then we'll move on to the list of NITs under DESA, that what are the NITs, list of NITs which are taking part in DESA. Then we will move on to the basic academic eligibility, right? This is for the UG that we are going to discuss. Then we will move on to the DESA 2021 reservation policy. Then we will move on to discuss about the scopes for NRIs and finally the cutoffs. Cutoffs essentially for JE mains because we are targeting UG exam in this video. Then what are the general courses which is offered by NITs we will discuss and what is the application process. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this video. And again, after this point of time, if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, ask in the comment section below. Now without wasting much time, let's proceed and start discussing with DESA. So DESA is Direct Admission of Students Abroad, that is DESA. It deals with the admission for NRIs, Foreign Nationals, PIOs and Overseas Citizens of India, right? Now this runs under MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource and Development, right? Normally, these students will be given admission in this particular colleges. Now these are the top colleges in India like IIITs, NITs, SPAs and other technical institution, right? Now from this year onwards, essentially for the, it has been said that for the year 2020 to 2021, it has been said that the government of India has announced that from the year 2021, DESA and CIWG admission will no longer be based on the score in SIT subject test. Yes. So from now onwards, if you're targeting colleges in India, essentially BTEC colleges, essentially technical degree, if you want to pursue for technical degree from India, then SAT score is not accepted. What it says, it says that the candidates J mains engineering entrance exam scores will be considered for the admission under DESA. J mains is, as you know, J mains is the India's largest engineering entrance exam that normally 1.2 million students give every year. So there is a huge competition. Now these NRI students, these PIOs, this, uh, we can say foreign nationals, they have to compete. They have to compete for the students in India and they have to perform very well to clear the cutoff and then finally they will be called for the shortlisting or essentially the counseling process, right? So in short, it says that for day side mission, students would no longer need SAT score. So there is no point in preparing for SAT. Start preparing for J mains if you're targeting colleges in India, right? Essentially BTEC colleges in India. This is just a brief about DESA. Now let's move on and discuss about the list of NITs which are taking part in the admission process, right? So this is for the 2020. It says that the list of NITs are NIT A, MNIT, NIT AP, MANIT, NIT C, NIT Durgapur. These are the list of NITs as you can see. So these are total of 5, 10, 15, 20 and plus 8, 28. So 28 NITs took part in this uh, last year DESA process. For this year fall, it has not been disclosed. But yes, will be disclosed in the coming days. The recent NIT which was added in the list was NIT Delhi. Okay, just a brief about the list of NITs. Now let's move on and discuss about the academic eligibility and the UG courses. UG, you just need to clear your plus two, right? Plus two means class 12. It says that you have to score minimum of 60 or 65 percent marks in mathematics and physics. This is a compulsory subject and one subject amongst chemistry biotechnology, computer science and biology. Now this subject should be in class 11, which means that this subject will be going to be in class 12. So this is the mandatory thing, mathematics, physics with minimum of 65% marks as a safe side and one subject from chemistry, biotechnology, computer science and biology. Okay. So this is just a brief about academic eligibility and also one more thing is that your age should be less than 25 years. So this is just a brief about academic eligibility. Now let's discuss about the reservation criteria. So reservation criteria is very clear as mandated by the MHRD and the DESA. It says that 15% of the seats are reserved under DESA, out of which 5% are reserved for CIWG, CIWG candidates. 
So candidates who will get admission in NITs and IIEST like under DESA and under CIG, WC categories have to face some tuition fee. Of course, there is some tuition fee. It says that the tuition fee is 1,25,000 per annum either in INR or in USD. So you can visit the site for this fee purpose, but the reservation is there 15% and 5% for the CIWG. Now list of countries under CIWG are United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Brahmin, Qatar, Iraq, Iran, Kuwait and Oman. So these are the countries under CIWG. Okay. These are actually children of Indian workers in Gulf countries. Just a brief about reservation policy. Now let's move on and discuss about other aspects. But before that, let me announce a very important part here. So for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebook that is related to DASA and CIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. We have a compiled set of NRI books. Okay. Download it from the link in the description below. Will be really helpful in preparation. Now let's discuss about the seat metrics. So seat metrics, as you can see in here, this is DESA 2020 UG. I'm taking a single college. Let's take a general college in here. Let's take uh, DTU. DTU is Delhi Technical University in Delhi. So you can see the branches. These are biotechnology, civil, CE, EE, electronics, environmental engineering, engineering and physics, mathematical and computing, and other branch names. So just bringing about the seats, as you can see, in biotechnology, the seats for CIWG candidates is 2. In civil, this is 2. In CE, that is in computer engineering, this is 7. So this is the matrix. This is a description or distribution of seats for the NRI CIWG in various courses in various college. It will be great if you visit the site. For this year, this has not been disclosed. But yes, more or less, it will be same like 5% or 10% increment or decrement. But yes, it should be almost same you can visit the site this is just for the three four colleges in here you can find all the colleges which participated under desa all the seat metrics in the site in the desa site okay now let's move on and discuss about the scopes for nri so what are the scopes for nri so essentially in order to get admission in the ug courses in nits triple it's spas or other technical institution in india you have to clear your class 12 this is a clear and like the basic eligibility criteria pertaining to be a formal education system, whatever you have, says that you have to score minimum of 60% in mathematics, physics, and one subject from, as I just told, bio, biotechnology, biology, chemistry, right? Now, this is just a brief about the scopes for NRIs. You can visit the site, which is test prep cart. There is a blog site and you can read and this will be really fun. You will, you know, get to know more about what are the scopes for use if you are taking admission in colleges in India, right? What are the courses they should opt on? All right, now let's discuss and for the discussion about the cutoff. So for the cutoff, I have not disclosed much in here, but I have provided you the links. One more thing, one more piece of information I just wanted to share. Like suppose if there is some NRI students or PIOs or CIWG candidates, and let's say they belong to some caste or any category in their respective country. So when they apply to these colleges, those caste, those communities will not be going to be accepted in here. This is just like those students will be treated as a general students. They have to compete, meaning thereby just saying that you have to clear the cutoff for the general students as there are cutoffs for general, OBC, SC, ST and PWD students in India. So your cutoff will be general students cutoff, right? Now let's discuss about the major engineering specializations offered by NITs in India. So these are the major specializations. You can do your engineering in computer science. You can do your engineering in metronics, electrical and electronics, humanities and management, ceramic, mechanical, telecommunication, software, biomedical, biochemical, production engineering. So these are the major specializations. Apart from this, you will find other specializations if you are targeting some other colleges apart from NITs. So in short, a complete package and a variety of courses you will be offered if you're targeting these colleges. Again, this is not only about the courses that you see here. This is more about the market, market demand. What is the value of those courses in the market? What is the placement scenario? Like what is the future growth of those courses? So you also map those requirements with this choosing thing and then take a final call. All right, now let's discuss about the DESA application process. So essentially there are two application process, two steps application process. The first step is the registration and the second steps is the application filling form. In the registration part, you just need to visit www.desa.nit.org. Now this is for the year 2020, this will be remaining for the link will be same for 2021 and for the coming years. Just need to visit the site and then provide all the necessary details, your email address, capture thing in order to verify that you are a human person, right? You are human. 
and then create your account complete your registration you will have application id post that confirm your account through your mail id and finally you are done with this registration now the next step is the application form filling so in the application form filling using that same application id and password that you created in step one do the process now there is no maximum limit for the number of courses and institution that can be chosen by you from the available list so this is a good thing and you have to upload few documents these documents are like pretty simple as you know this is scanned copy of your required documents like your class 10th class 12th right and your nris documents scan signature and passport size photographs so this is just about application filling once you upload all this necessary documents all the star marked document hit the submit button and you're done all right so this is just a brief about this admission process overview i hope you enjoyed now i'm just asking you guys that is it worth it taking admission in nits just whatever your experience whatever your views points are write in the comment section below all right see you in the coming videos thank you